On Friday, former Mississippi Governor Haley Barber defiantly responded to critics who questioned the pardons or clemency Barber granted to some 200 people during his final days in office. That I endangered public safety by releasing 10 people. I would say that I would say that people like you gave people the impression we released hundreds of people. Barber gave full, complete, and unconditional pardons to 203 people including 17 convicted of murder, 10 convicted of manslaughter, 8 convicted of aggravated assault, and 5 convicted of drunken driving incidents that caused deaths. Barber says 189 of the people who got pardons or other reprieves had already been released from prison before his involvement. He claims only 10 have been or will be released from prison. Several people with expensive chronic conditions are receiving medical leave. He says he regrets not providing more details at the time. Barber reiterated a well-known tradition. In Mississippi, it's common for governors to free the trustees who worked at the governor's mansion. He says he's not concerned the free trustees might harm someone. I've watched them work to try to better themselves so that when they get out and get a second chance, and they all knew when they came there that if they accepted this and successfully completed my term, they'd be pardoned. Meanwhile, earlier this week, corrections officials put the pardons or reprieves for 21 inmates on hold. A legal battle is brewing over whether Barber properly handled the inmates' orders to go free. Nia Hawkins, Associated Press.